Tesla Giga Texas is going with full speed and some of you have been asking about the field dirt where is this coming from where it's going and how much it needs it looks like according to our uh, friend Joe Techmeyer's comparison and study Tesla Giga Texas may need 41,000 of truck loads of field dirt welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story so our friend Joe Techmeyer was at the Giga Texas uh, construction zone two days ago on August 4 and has sent me this report that you're saying uh, seeing on your screen and the following explanations he says here are my updates a new video for Giga Texas from August 4 this video has some educational information about field dirt the trucks being used and recent projects that Ranger excavation which is doing the work right now has done in addition to doing Giga Texas now it will give some scope of the effort and estimate how much field dirt will be needed at Tesla Giga Texas just to level out the phase one areas we have been watching to get clear these past few days Joe says the weather generally has been good between a beautiful day for flying his drone over Tesla Giga Texas and to check in on what's new he says many people have asked about the field dirt the trucks how level uh, the ground is uh, how level the ground is and how link it may take to live how long actually it may take to level all of the phase one area so I provide a bit of information and use a few hypothetical examples to try and help answer these and other questions Joe says the trucks are semi trailer bottom dump trucks and used for hauling materials both in and out of project or location with a 20 ton weight limit they are useful for heavy materials that might overwhelm smaller trucks typically dump trailers are used to hold stone and sand onto a project soil concrete clay brick and blocks uh, block are all typical material this trailer might hold off a job these dump trucks offer a very quick turnaround time they uh, the wheel never stops turning basically you actually drive right through the dump zone and open the gates to full open the material can then be easily handled with the loader or dozer the key advantage is its ability to lay material in a linear heap in addition a semi bottom dump is maneuverable in reverse Joe also says I used comparisons to two other recent Ranger excavation projects and the data on their website to estimate how much field dirt Tesla gigafactory here in Texas might need and my estimate is about 850,000 cubic yards of imported field dirt may be needed just for phase one clearing areas we have been seeing to date. Joe says, based on this, it will take almost 41,000 truck loads and about 567,000 miles of driving to and from Giga Texas to transport all of this dirt if they had if meaning Tesla or the company 100 trucks and each truck did 10 trips a day it would take over 40 days to bring in all of the dirt they need and this is in addition to using the existing um, existing mounds of site to cover what else may be needed in the video I show elevation of several areas to show just how unlevel the ground still is and how much work they still need to do to get it ready for construction of the uh, foundation it is a mammoth effort for sure he says um, in the northern side of the Giga Texas he says the north swamp area is almost completely free of trees right now with perhaps one or two more days until all are gone and leveling of the big mounds can well okay, mounds can will start also the central pond is now completely gone and they are using the dirt in the remaining mounds to level out the area more water removal has started in the pond adjacent to the north swamp as shown in an extended section of the video that is it for giga texas friends for august 4 progress continues to be swift and i hope this video shows a bit more information about field dirt and how much they likely need to import in 
from Offsite Health. Stay tuned for more and make sure to subscribe, please, to Joe's um, uh, channel as well as Torque News if you are here for the first time. And look for another video update coming for uh, today. Joe is right now, as I'm reporting this, is taking another video and is going to uh, send it later today. And uh, see you soon. Uh, hopefully, you can have a great time. Uh, this is Armin Harian from TorqueNews.com. Have a wonderful day and God bless you all.